All right, everybody. We're going to talk about engine alignment today. Why is this important? If your engine isn't aligned properly, you will destroy your gimbal bearing. So there's a tool that checks your engine alignment. And you can see how I have the video started here. I'm kind of pointing at where it goes. Let me pan out a little bit. This is the, uh, let me get the tape measure out of there. This is the engine alignment tool that I bought. Really, really handy tool. Uh, just so you know, if you're using the same one I'm using, it's pretty standard. Pretty much all the ones I've seen. This one is about, uh, it looks like 23 and 3 quarters. And then you'll see the, the various cuts in here. Um, this one slides into the coupler, which is in the engine. This goes through your gimbal bearing. And then this, um, this part pretty much is uh, another piece of the alignment. But anyway, um, first things first, while you have your out drive out, like I have here, you want to take this tool. Um, I oiled it pretty good, just to make sure I haven't used it in a year. And go ahead and stick it in there. And I can tell you ahead of time, since uh, I've had my transom rebuilt, my engine alignment has now gotten off a little bit. All right, see? It goes in pretty easily into the gimbal bearing. Now watch, yeah, well you, you can't see how much effort I'm putting, but I'm gonna slowly slide it into place and I've got resistance right here. So I'm gonna use my palm of my hand. All right, see that? I'm all the way in and you, can, you just heard it bottom out right there. Um, that was too much. Way, way too much effort. It's close, but way too much effort. And if you're wondering how much, um, well, how far it takes before you know it's all the way in, there's no video on YouTube to show you how to do this, by the way, so you're gonna love me. So, um, all the way in, and that includes the coupler and everything, 15 inches. Um, so, that's how you know the, the pole is all the way in. Uh, here's the other thing too. Once you have the, uh, the engine alignment tool in, you want to be able to take two fingers, just like this, and twist it. I'm talking effortless. You should be able to twist it. Check mine out. Watch that. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good grunt right there to get it to turn. I mean, it's it's close. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but that is way, 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 way too much resistance right now. Um, I'm kind of worried about my gimbal bearing. If it, if it hadn't been about a year since I replaced it, whew, I tell you what, I'd be really worried. If um, Just so you know, if this is your situation and you got this much effort to turn it, yeah, you better be putting a new gimbal bearing in. Um, mine's about a year old and... Um, I didn't drive it that much in the, in the water last year, but I had put a new um, transom in and, and new deck as well. So there's probably a little bit of settling in my case, and you'll probably see the same with your boat over time. It, uh, it'll probably settle a little bit. And yeah, you just need to go in and, and readjust it. I'll, I'll do a video, um, like we'll call it like a part two of this, on how you uh, align the engine. Really easy, done it before. Uh, it just takes time and patience, but yeah, take a look at this. I wish I could put a torque wrench on here to show you how much torque is required to turn this thing. It's close. Probably just needs to be adjusted a little bit, but that is way, way too much. And now I'm saying like, just so the viewers that are watching this, so you understand, take two fingers, right? and you should be able to twist it. And I mean, this is it. Just like that. And it'll come right out. Or sorry, not come right out, it'll it'll twist. Just with these perforations on here. That's what it needs to be. Super, super duper low resistance. So anyway, um, that's how you diagnose um, if your engine alignment's good. If you have your out drive out like I have mine here, you better invest in this tool. If you don't, whew, <laughs> boy, you're going to be sorry. But anyway, well, I hope that helped. Uh, Engine Alignment 101. 
And like I said, we'll do a part two here on actually adjusting the engine alignment. But check it out. See, coming on out. Boom, easy. All right, guys, stay tuned for part two of this video for Engine Alignment 101. Have a good one.